I come from an India that has the largest working population under 30 on the planet, but still listens to 75 year old leaders with 150 year old. India, and I was teaching a, a course on leadership in India, and I, I, I had gone to this, this, this uh, university and I had spoke there, and after I left, I, I got back to the, to, the, to, the, uh, to the hotel, I realized I didn't have my wallet. And so I called the hotel and I said, can you please bring the car back, they have my wallet. And they said, I'm sorry, sir, we don't have a car, that was a taxi we used. And so they tried calling the taxi company, nobody answered the phone. They tried again and nobody answered the phone. And I became a little cynical. I went from hopeful to skeptical to cynical and I started thinking the worst of people. And of course they said, well, my, my wallet is gone. By midnight they called and said, we're still trying. He's not answering the phone, the taxi cab driver. But at two in the morning they called and said, he answered his phone, his phone was off. He's coming back to your hotel with your wallet. So I get dressed and I run down stairs and a man meets me and the bellman translates in for me in India in the dialect and, and, I, and I ask the man well, how, and I get my wallet and everything is in my wallet everything my passport my money my credit cards it's all there and I reach into my wallet and there's seventy dollars US I ask the man through a translator what do you make a month he says about 2500 rupees which about with that time was about seventy dollars 